Have you ever shouted into a canyon, clapped in a big, empty hall, or even talked in a large stairwell, and noticed that sometimes the echo comes back much later than you expected? It feels almost unnatural, as if the sound took a scenic route before returning to your ears. This delay happens because an echo isn't just one sound bouncing back. It's a collection of reflections traveling along different surfaces at different speeds. Sound moves fast, about 343 meters per second. But when it hits distant or oddly shaped surfaces, the paths it travels can become surprisingly long. If the reflecting surface is far away, tilted, curved, or broken up into uneven sections, the sound waves may scatter, bounce around multiple times, or take indirect routes. Each extra meter the sound travels adds tiny fractions of a second, and when those fractions pile up, the echo can feel slow or stretched. What's even more interesting is how your brain plays a role. Your mind expects echoes to return quickly, so when the delay is longer, usually more than one-tenth of a second, you become consciously aware of it. This gives the illusion that the echo is even slower than it physically is. In some environments like cathedral domes, tunnels, or large empty gyms, sound gets trapped and keeps bouncing around creating multiple late arriving reflections called reverberations. These overlapping reflections can smear together, making the final echo seem delayed, distant, or ghost-like. Temperature and humidity can also change the speed of sound. Warmer air makes sound travel faster while cooler layers slow it down. If sound moves through pockets of air at different temperatures, it can bend or refract, adding even more time to its journey. So when an echo feels too delayed, it's really a combination of long distance reflections, scattered sound paths, architectural quirks, and your brain's built-in expectations. The result is a perfectly natural, but surprisingly dramatic illusion created by the physics of sound interacting with the world around you.